Hello everybody, welcome back to my vlogs. Uh, good morning. Um, it is Monday. It's actually not the morning, it is the afternoon. Um, I wasn't really planning on vlogging this week, but I just had a bit of an urge just now, like about two minutes ago to vlog this week. So I've decided to do that. Um, basically, uh, it's Monday and I've got back from school a while ago, but I'm actually heading back out because I've got a school trip in a couple of weeks to Vienna and we are going like to the meeting at school like so we can find out what we're doing and like my parents can find out what we're doing and blah 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 so that is at six and it is now five past five so I'm gonna head out for that in um 15 minutes or so but for like 10 minutes I'm just gonna get some maths questions done because um I know I always find that I always do my maths questions in like the spare 10 minutes I have at the end of a free or between times like this and that's how I, I get through maths honestly so I'm just gonna sit and do some maths questions I will film it for you guys because you guys like seeing that what I'm doing here is just some maths questions which I had due in for homework um, these were actually set that day on that Monday and um, I just quickly completed them after so they were done and that's it really it is now half five it's going to take me 15 minutes to walk there and i want to be there early so i'm going to head out now so I'll see you guys when I get back. That was so cringe, I was just like, now? <laughs> um, yeah, also this vlog is just gonna go from Monday to Friday because this weekend I've got my grandpa's 80th birthday and I don't really want to film that because that's like family and like it's just not something I wanna film. Um, and then other than that I won't be doing anything so really not a lot of point but this week I'm gonna try and go into a lot of detail what I do each night and show you like the revision I do over the week realistic hello everybody so i am back and i am doing some cheeky online shopping um on pretty little thing i have never actually shopped on here before but i found these nice trousers and they're literally 10 pounds in the sale so yes um but i realized i don't really have any clothes for the end so I am perk chasing some. I will review, I'll show you my basket at the end. I don't think I'm going to spend more than £30 because I'm a bit cheap, so I'm looking for some bargains. Hello everybody, excuse how I look. Um, I've got my like dressing gown on and everything and I'm just not looking my best. But um, yeah, I've also got pseudo creme on my hands because I got windburn and it was all scaly and weird and my hands were red even though they felt soft. So that was weird. Apparently it was windburn, so... That was great. Um, and I ended up ordering a black v-neck top and a white v-neck top and then the trousers that I showed you and they were both £6 and basically I ordered those because I realised I don't actually have any plain black or white tops in my wardrobe at all. Um, so if I want to wear pattern trousers I don't really have anything to wear them with. Um, and obviously I ordered a pair of pattern trousers. Um, so I ordered those, hopefully they'll come in the space of this vlog before Friday, I'm sure they will. And I will show you what they're like. I'm also doing this Hogwarts um, on Possible, basically. They have this thing called like a hotspot finder. And I decided to do it. I found one out of a hundred so far. So I'm going to try and do them all tonight. Oh, what a good use of my time. Um, yeah. And I think I will end today's part of the vlog here. Because there's nothing interesting to show you. I'm probably going to go to bed after this. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. On Tuesday I was actually up quite early and I just did some maths questions which were due in for Friday.
it is Tuesday morning. Um, I have just been up. I was actually up quite early and I did some maths work because I'm a bit behind. And now I'm just packing up my bag for school. And I've got volunteering tonight as well. So that's the plan for today. Go to school, go to volunteering, come home. <laughs> How exciting. Um, yeah. I'll see you later. Hello everybody, I'm back from school. Um, I got back from volunteering a while ago, like an hour, an hour ago. Yeah, we actually had a really busy shift. Like there were so many donations. There was literally like six like huge crates of stuff for me to sort. So it was quite busy, it was quite fun. Um, so we went to Aldi, we've got back now. My mum's making us a veggie lasagna, which is fun. I say everything's fun. Um, I've got some work to do as per usual. Um, I'm also thinking I'm going to try a revision timetable this year because basically um, I've got mocks at the end of the year and I'm going to pretend they're my AS so that I can be like prepared for them because obviously I don't do AS. We just do completely linear A levels but I'm going to pretend I'm doing my AS to motivate me. Um, so I'm actually going to try a revision timetable and I've tried them for all my mocks and GCSEs and they worked for my first set of mocks in year 10. For my other mocks and my GCSEs, I did not use it at all. So I'm going to try. Oh, I'm going to try and use one because I really need some structure in my life right now. Um, so I think actually I might put the revision timetable I use on. Somehow I'll put it online or something. I don't know. Or you guys can email me um, with my business email because I've got a template on an Excel document. I think I nicked it off Eve Bennett ages ago, like literally like a year or so ago. Um, Cause she did one and I just like made it black and white because I don't have a color printer. Uh, actually I do, but we didn't have color at the time and I prefer it black and white. Okay, so this is my revision timetable. I'm gonna print it out and then for each like um, subject, I'm gonna highlight it in a different color. So it's more visual, but I quite like it black and white and I'm giving it some cool fonts. Um, I think, I don't know how to link this in the description, but if you would like a copy, um, just email my business email and I'll eventually get around to sending you one. Um, but yeah, this um, was made by Eve Bennett and I stole it and made it black and white. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to print this out and try doing it, see how long it lasts. Um, obviously, this is pretty intense revision, um, but I have a counted space for like homework and stuff because that's basically all I do. But I do actually want to start revising my subjects rather than just doing the homework. Um, so that's what this is for. Obviously, I have mocks, so I want to recap everything I've done this year that I haven't really looked at. And most of this is probably just going to be, um, for like history and psychology, it's probably just going to be doing like mind maps and making revision resources. And then for maths, I'm just going to go over all the topics that we've done and do some questions on them. So like, it's nothing intense. Um, but yeah, also I was thinking of printing out one of these, but with like f empty space so that I can write in when I'm going to do stuff so I can like refer to my to-do list and allocate when I'm going to do everything and allocate when it's due in for I don't know that's just an idea I don't know if it's a bit of a waste of paper or if I should just get like um a whiteboard or something for it who knows but I'm going to print this out and I'm going to print out two actually um and you usually print these out you just like copy and paste oh I wasn't meant to do that copy and paste the entire thing into a word document okay so this is now on my word document and i have just made it a landscape now i've got it pretty big um so i'm just gonna print these so i tried to show the revision timetable but my printer doesn't work apparently so i didn't manage to print it out so um, I think my mum's going to try printing it out at work for me, I don't know, um, but I spent like ages trying to do that, it didn't work, and then I went for tea as I showed you, and now I'm going to do all the work that I've been procrastinating on, so cue the little time lapse. Hello everybody, it is Wednesday, I forgot to vlog again this morning, but I'm back from school on Wednesday, I have early finish anyway, so hopefully I'll be able to get some good footage. Oh my god, it's such nice weather today though. Like you can't really tell from the camera. I'm gonna get changed and my pretty little thing order came through. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, yeah. It's actually so hot, or at least I'm really hot that I'm fully wearing a summer outfit. Like, 
I don't have any proper summer outfits so this is like last year's and it's got a hole in it which is so embarrassing but um, I'm gonna open this and I've just tidied my room a little bit because it was slightly messy it's still a bit messy but it's fine um so let's open this I don't know whether or not I need scissors because I've never ordered from here before okay so I assume this is the black top yeah and then I've got the blue trousers interesting and the white top um i might try those on just to make sure that they fit and then i'll show you what they look like on okay so i've got the um white top on it was actually kind of transparent so i've tied it up and then it's like more loose here so it's a bit big i've got it in a 10 but i like it tied up it looks quite cute um i'm gonna try on the black one now i never usually go for white tops because i'm scared they're gonna be transparent and this one is like just about okay so i'm gonna try on the black one now Okay, so this is the black one on, I've not tidied it up. Um, it's a 10, so like, I'm probably an 8, but I don't like tight clothes, so I usually go a size up. Um, so it's like, it's really unflattering when it's like that. <laughs> like, that's so ugly, um, but if I tie it up, it looks cute. I'll do that in a sec. Okay, this is the black one on. I feel like v-necks are really flattering on me, because like, I'm quite tall. I don't know. I like it. Um, yeah, it doesn't really go with the skirt, but that's okay. I mean, both of them are just basic pieces, but like, they're alright, they're both £6, but with student discount, there was 15% off. So the issue of this mirror is that it's not full body, so I'd have to stand on my chair to show you in here with the good lighting. Um, oh my god. Um, yeah, that's what they look like. I think I like them. My only issue of these is I want to wear them to school, but then if I wear them to school, um, I feel like I can't wear them not at school, if you get me. I don't know. Also, they're creasing quite a lot. Um, that's interesting. I mean, they're only £10. I can't moan. They're nice, though. Yeah. That's the trousers for you. phone my camera died in the middle of filming um but i haven't finished the work that i need to finish tonight which is not great um and it's one minute till eight o'clock um and my mum's also having a lot of friends around tonight for a little book group which is quite cute so there's food downstairs um and i'm sitting here and because i'm on my phone i can't flip it around so i'm just gonna do this but i'm sitting here editing a video um and Oh god, um, my camera battery is charging. This kind of, today's part of the vlog has just turned into a bit of a study with me to be honest. Um, but hopefully that'll be interesting for some of you. If not, you can just skip it. Um, but I'm gonna get on with a bit more work. I might show more like clips of me doing work, but I don't think I'll talk to you guys again, just because my mum will have her friends around. <laughs> And here I was just reading a history article which we've been told to read for homework and then making notes on the titles we've been asked to make notes on. So I just made it in a little table with three columns. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Hello everybody, it's Thursday morning and I'm off to school in like five minutes. I've got up. Um, I did some YouTube stuff this morning in bed and then my mum did some revision with me like she tested me on my flashcards and now I'm gonna head off to school um yeah hi everybody it is after school now it's Thursday afternoon um <coughs> Sorry, um, I've been procrastinating for ages. I've been sitting on my chair just on my phone for like an hour and a half. 
Um, but I'm now going to do something. I'm going to go get some food and get changed. Um, and then I've got maths homework due in tomorrow, which I desperately need to do. So I'm going to do that. Um, and that's basically tonight's plan. Once again, exciting life. Um, but I'm going to go get some food. Also, can we just appreciate my outfit? I look like absolute trash with my stripy top, um, my stripy jumper and my check trousers. But I don't even care. So I've just found out that my mum's going to be home late, so I've got no excuse to do nothing because my mum sometimes distracts me, but um, actually she doesn't to be fair, but um, I have no excuse now, so I'm going to have to get stuff done, um, yeah. Also, um, I'm shouting because of the kettle, but my mum had her friends around last night, so we've got a load of little brownies and we've got some crisps, which is good because I do love a good crisp. Oh my god, my revision timetable! Oh, my mum is such a babe. She printed it out for me and it's cut off at the side. Oh, mum. I can't cope. So, my revision timetable's finally decided to print out. My desk is a bit of a mess because I just did some psychology. And then I ran found a random page of maths homework that got crumpled at the bottom of my bag so I'm trying to flatten it. Um, but that's completely besides the point. My revision timetables are printed and I'm really happy. Um, I'm actually gonna like really try for these. Like I say this now, I'm actually going to like work hard for these because it'll only benefit me in the long term and it's not like they actually matter so it doesn't matter if I fail. Yeah. Um, so basically I have two because obviously I live between my parents' houses so one for each house um, and then I'm gonna just highlight um, the different subjects in a different colour, so, yeah. Okay, so I finished highlighting it just so that it's a bit more colour coordinated. Um, I also decided just to add in my um, school timetable because you never know if you want it on there or not. Um, so I'm looking at this, I haven't actually got a lot of time allocated for each subject, basically, like, obviously I want to do well, but it's not like my real A level, so why waste my life doing like so much revision? Um, so I'm just keeping it quite chill. And I've obviously got all this space for homework. I don't get set this much homework, but I never know if I will. So this space is basically, if I have a load of homework, I've got like, what, five hours allocated to do it on Saturday and Sunday, two on Thursday and Friday and one hour after school Monday Tuesday Wednesday plus my freeze so basically because I do get set homework obviously I need time in which I will do it and obviously homework is a form of revision anyway because we're covering the content and then I have to keep back going back and revising it so like even covering the content and if I do it properly then I'm like revising it still um so yeah there's no rhyme or rhythm to this it's just kind of random where i put stuff and as you can see um my latest study is like seven o'clock because I, I can't work late and also if i schedule everything to finish at seven if i procrastinate i've still got a good couple of hours before i'm in a state where i can't work um because i could work till like 10 11 but like that's not very good for me um because i tend to get up early and also i've got time before school in which I can do stuff as well so I literally have no excuses this is going to start next week um, which is so depressing and then the week after I'll have a bit of time off because obviously I'm away in Vienna so I'm not exactly going to revise that would be really sad um, but yeah I'm going to try it and I might slowly ease myself into it because mocks aren't important but they go towards our uni predictions and I actually want to do well and like get back into a routine because my routine and structure has been so shit. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do this one now. Um, I'm thinking trying some different colours because I'm not keen on that colour combo. Um, I might use my Stabilo pens. Where are they? They're in here. Um, the neon ones I'm just a fan of. Like, oh my god. I just have always liked them so I'm gonna use these and this is the color combo I went for on this one so I'm gonna cut these out um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna bother highlighting the timetable because that's kind of set in stone I can't really deviate from that um, but 
yeah fun um also as i said earlier if you would like a copy of this email me and i will send it to you as soon as i can obviously i'm busy so i wouldn't be able to send it immediately and also the fonts i have downloaded off the internet so they won't come out like they are on here so it's now all pinned up on the back of my wall i can't escape it and this one i'm just going to slip into a clear plastic wallet so that it can stay flat for when i take it to my dad's house and i'm also just going to finish off some work i've just done some I've just done some psychology notes and then I'm going to do some maths questions. Oh, hello. Because I have a super healthy lifestyle, I've brought up some lightly salty tortilla chips. Um, I actually really like these because they're not like really salty, but they still have like a nice taste, but they're not like over the top. So I'm not going to eat the whole bag, but I'm going to film myself doing some more work for this video. Um, I've just got math questions to do, um, so it's going to be quite tedious, but it's fine. Also, last night I kind of rediscovered Titanic, like the soundtrack is so good to revise to because I literally love it, but it's not like distracting if you listen to the right stuff. So as I said earlier, I was just doing some math questions. We had a page from the exercise book. And then we had like an assignment to do and both of which were due in the next day. I obviously had been really, really organised by leaving this. Good morning everybody, please excuse how I look. I've got my hair like all wet and I've not got my makeup on yet, but yeah, it's Friday morning and I'm off to school in about 50 minutes. Um, I'm just gonna sit and do some editing of this vlog up to this point because I don't know when I'll find time otherwise. Um, but yeah, today is not exciting. I'm going to my dad's tonight. Um, so I'm coming home here and then I'm packing my bag and going to his. Um, and I'm gonna end the vlog after that, so. Yay, exciting times, um, but I'll see you after school. Also, I feel like this to-do list fills up faster than I can finish it because last night there was like another four things that I hadn't ticked off. And now I've actually only got six things to do, which is all right. Um, but this is from like Sunday. This is all of this week, so uh, yeah. Hello everybody, I have now just got home from school. I'm gonna get changed and have some lunch. But I've just made myself a new to-do list for the weekend. Basically this one is almost finished and I would run out of space at the bottom. And I only had a few more things to do and I got set some new stuff today. So this is my new to-do list, yay. Um, to-do list pad is from TK Maxx. I get so many questions about that because it is genuinely such a nice like to-do list pad. But TK Maxx is very unreliable about what stock they have. So you probably won't find it easily. I do always look for one. Um, every time I go in just in case they have one and if they do I'd probably buy it and then like put it in a giveaway or something but it's so gorgeous I don't know but this one I feel like I've had quite a successful week looking at the amount of ticks on that but um, yeah new to-do list new week it is half one now so I'm gonna eat lunch and then I will probably start on some work or I do need to pack my bag because I'm going back to my dad's house tonight um, it's my grandpa's 80th birthday party tomorrow and I'm also gonna make him a cake um, tonight as well and like family coming over and everything so it's a bit hectic so that is why I'm ending the vlog today rather than like on Sunday and yeah um, I'm gonna get changed get some lunch and that's the plan I just thought I just packed up my bag for my dad's house I've actually got like an hour so I don't really know what I'm gonna do for an hour because I've just packed all my stuff away um yeah so much for being organized but I managed to pack in 10 minutes which is pretty good for me well yeah it's kind of the average to be fair but just gonna unpack now um what am I gonna do for an hour I think I'll watch a documentary 
um i was watching a documentary about the titanic earlier and i was like loving it so i'm gonna start one on now i think and i'm also having a little jam out session to some great hits i don't really know also probably not going to vlog for a while because i'm now gonna pack my camera in my bag and it won't get like i won't film anything until i unpack it which might be for a really long time because i always procrastinate unpacking um so yeah if i don't see you in a while that's why unpacking and I'm gonna make a cake now um, so yeah I'll put in a picture of it um, when it's done um, on the screen somewhere so you can see hey everybody so it's about half ten yeah and I'm just sitting here with a cup of tea I've just taken my makeup off so I think my face will look really red um, but I made the cake and it took me so long because I had to remake part of the sponge because it just wasn't enough um, yeah, but I will insert a photo of it. I was quite happy with it. I've done no work tonight whatsoever, but that's all right because I made a cake and that was fun. Um, and I'm just sitting here with my tea. I'm really tired, so I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you whenever I next post a weekly vlog. <laughs>